Hello everyone, and today for this Mac tip, I'll be showing you a piece of open source software that I've recently downloaded and tried out, and I really like it. So you need, just need to go on Google, Google. Oops, sorry. It's Google Songbird, and it's the top one. Or if it's not the top one, it'll be down below. Uh, so it's the open source music player, similar to iTunes but with some very good features that I'd like to show you. So you just download it, it's not a very big file at all and it, of course it's free. So once it's downloaded it will come up with a uh, little editing box and you can choose if you just want to search computer for songs, like you can add them yourself, say you've got them on an external hard drive or if you've got your iTunes library you can copy that iTunes library into Songbird and still keep the iTunes library so nothing on that gets destroyed or deleted so that's all that's backed up on iTunes as, as it was so you're not disturbing your old iTunes library and then once you've done that I think mine took two minutes for like two three thousand songs so it was really fast importing them and as you can see it also, also imports all your playlists and it puts them into genres, artists and albums and also you can search your library like you can do on iTunes and you can just play them you can, and you get the reviews, news, photos, videos etc about the artists which is very good when you're playing the songs but of course I'm not going to play it on now because of copyright issues and etc stuff like that but when you play them it's the same as iTunes, everything's the same. And if you've got Last FM, you'd also be good to know that once you're uh, setting up Songbird, you can uh, add your Last FM account. And as you know, on iTunes, if you use Last FM, every time you play a song or video, podcast, etc., that gets scrubbled onto your Last FM account. And it also does this with Songbird, so if you if you still want to keep doing that, it can do that for you. And what I find's good is you can also search a web off this songbird, as you can see. And you can have search engines, you can add your own, like Google. And you can search different ones for MP3s, etc. So it's like it's not a proper search engine, but it searches for songs. Say there's something you want to download and you don't know exactly what the album is or the artist, you can search. It's got some good features like that. And I saw just a good bit just before I started this video, I thought I'd add it it's a good feature. And it's concerts. Although I don't live in the US, don't worry, you can change it so you can have US, the UK, Australia, Canada, or New Zealand. So I'll just do the UK. City. I'll just uh, see if there is any in London. That's not where I am guys, but I'm just seeing if there is any. So, and you can do it from your library as well. So you can like choose a song and see if the artist has got any concerts coming up. So you just click on find shows. And it's searching for about a thousand concerts it's looking for. Powered by, uh, as you can see there's some coming up in London, it's Blur, Britney. This is all from my library as well, so it's good because like, obviously the bands and artists I like, I'll be able to go and see them if I wanted to. And that is really good and you can also buy the tickets off here, which I do like that feature very much. And I, I bet a lot of you like artists, uh, cons live, co live concerts will use this feature. So yeah, that's also good, it tells you that the venue the date and you can get tickets there so that was good and it tells you how many songs you've got there yeah I've got 2500 and it's like iTunes as well guys you can add your it shows you your album artwork down the side as well and you can just customise this however you really like it but I'm not going to use it uh, as my main one but I really did like it for a piece of free software I know iTunes is free, but it's also it's always good to see some smaller companies coming up and fighting against each other. So that was good. All right then, guys. 
Uh, yeah, that's it for this Mac tip. I hope you liked it. And this is a very good piece of software. I definitely recommend it. So, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.